Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Once you open your enterprise security app, this is how it looks like. Okay. Uh, uh, this is not in my local system. I have taken this sandbox from this plunk. Okay. And next, you want to go. You know, the first thing everybody will go into the security posture. In the security posture dashboard, you can see you now four. You no, know, there will be key indicators are there. They are loading. You can see the key indicators. Splunk, uh, you no, know, the ES have uh, identified the four important domains in the security. One is access. Second one is endpoint, third one is network, and fourth one is identity. Access means it those are are related to your username and password. Like where well, you want access into any of the server, access into your corporate network, access into any of the server. Those all notables come under the access. Endpoint means the hardware or the way of your endpoint works. Those work as the endpoint the network firewall network router or any of the network apps will come under the network notables identity it's come under users you know uh, the insider threat or if you talking with you know uh, you have the phishing email those kind of things will be done uh, using the identity notable what is this key indicator is Yesterday, there are 346 notables are there in access, but today there are uh, 343 only there, like three notables compared to yesterday, there are three notables are less. Because of this less, it is showing in a green color, that too it's a downward. That means today the notables count is reduced. And how many notables reduced? Minus three three notables are reduced if, if it is the notable are increased then it will show the arrow mark upwards and it will show plus three now that means the notables compared to yesterday today they were increased so using uh, not only for the three four important domains there are another key indicator they have created like audit notables and threat notables and we'll go down there are multiple reports are there like notable events the agency notable events over time normally in security terms if anything happen on the alerting system we call them as the instance but in a splunk way they call it as the notable event so here multiple urgency levels are there like a critical um, high medium low but here the app, the report is showing only medium and low. We will see them in uh, next few minutes. We'll see the more notable events and also notable events over time. As per the you know the domain, how the what is the trend is there? For example, at particular time, the trend is more. You uh, know the access uh, notable trend is more, and we have to as a you are a security analyst, you have to go go inside of it and you have to find why immediate spike you know sudden spike in the access notables as a, a security analyst you should have multiple you know lot of patience and you have lot of anxiety you know enthusiasm to i want to, to find you want to find out the you know the want to find out like how this happening you have the, that kind of enthusiasm then only you will be success in this uh, security field and why i am telling the patients is uh, whether you know or not uh, can anybody you know tell me like what is the major uh, uh, villain now who is the main villain for the sim environment total sim environment can anyone just guess okay i will tell like the main villain is false positives or you can say the false alerts
false positives are the like false alerts. So why I'm telling you, suppose for example, the access is more, you want to see like why this access notables come, there might be chance that uh, there is a win whenever the windows patching come you know, patching completed or something happened or uh, after uh, you know the festival season immediately lot of users come and again they will access or some somebody forget about after the christmas holidays it happened after they took the 10 uh, 15 holidays and once they come and most of them forget about the passwords and they enter the wrong passwords once they enter the wrong password or no multiple times, then we will get the notables like uh, you know, uh, brute force attack happening on access, something like that. So we'll see now what is the access notables happening out there at this scenario. This is the instant review dashboard after the security posture. And there are medium and low notable like excessive failed logins. So you no. Know, uh, otherwise, uh, in your uh, you know, uh, when this successful failure again happens, is like you might be changed your password. Okay, you changed your password for your laptop, but internal there is a, some apps will be there. That apps password may not be changed because they have to talk with the Active Directory or SCML authentication, and they have to change the password. But your your laptop got the changed password but instead app didn't change the password. So that app, you have already stored the password either in Google Chrome or somewhere. That password, old password will continuously talking with the server and uh, no, it will create the multiple excessive failed logins notable. So this is one of the uh, false positive I can say by looking at this itself. Uh, and again, I'm going to the security post I'm going to finish another two reports over there. Then I will come back to the instant review. So there are another two more reports are there. One is the top notable event sources, like by which source has created uh, no uh, more uh, instance. Suppose the uh, source IP address one two three four. This is example data. That's why they are showing like that. So it created the eight events compared to any other thing. So they that's why it is shown a spike over here and this report will show top notable events the host with multiple infections has the most top count like you have to go and find it out why which host you uh, know uh, host with multiple like why the sudden spike you know why the count is 180 why it came like that you have to go and you have to uh, investigate properly uh, otherwise excessive failed logins are there why immediately that sudden spike is there maybe you know it is a false positive but you should not uh, no come to the conclusion without having any proof uh, that is the security like you have to search you should have the proper proof in you then only you can come to the conclusion until that you have to suspect bad and you have to go after the security posture there is an instant review dashboard is there there, here, there, you know, uh, like suppose if you become a security analyst, most of the your major time you're going to work on the instant review. So there is a multiple filters will be applied over here. I just want to see in instant review how many notables were triggered from past 24 hours. Here I can keep the custom time, otherwise I can keep the uh, presets time. So the preset time is uh, I am checking for the last 24 hours. I'm clicking here on last 24 hours and I'm submitting this. I want to see all the you know, uh, urgency notable. Like there are urgency, high, medium, low, uh, info notables are there. Uh, no, today is a Sunday, right? Maybe there is no critical incident. So what we'll do, last uh, uh, seven days notable will check last seven days notables see you can see there the critical high medium low info this kind of urgency are there you know as per the sla as per your sla service level agreement you have to work on the urgency level 
now most of the clients yeah one thing here see yes. actually all critical high everything will be done by the app itself right based on the existing data forwards uh no it's not like that only the security uh-huh. analyst have to work on it okay that's what actually you know security analyst has to develop some of the code according to the sla and then this will come like this right yes correct oh, clear so yeah mm. actually uh, we won't develop the code actually uh, maybe uh, okay try won't permit but uh, i am just telling you like the how okay. the mm-hmm. urgency will be added to it okay okay, okay suppose okay. there is a correlation search is there suppose mm-hmm. the correlation search is uh, for example uh, mm-hmm. there is a excessive field like in is there yes, excessive field as into low just mm-hmm. see like uh, i just want to explain you that when i have written that search query okay mm-hmm. the correlation search okay um, either security analyst or security admin don't have authority to in mm-hmm. which level he want to keep okay okay so we will give this table you know this a table to our security architect and uh, we will tell them uh, we will tell him that we have created one correlation search which okay. is a field login in that will be come under event severity okay event okay. severity we will ask him and which part you want us to keep maybe okay. he will tell us uh, keep that uh, excessive failed logins in medium mm-hmm. how he will decide is suppose uh, he is a bank guy then excessive failed login he might be kept in the critical because okay. brute force attack means some attacker is uh, trying to login into some uh, bank account okay clear so clear got the picture that time critical yeah. if suppose the company is belongs to mining company no mining mm. company there are lot of hundreds of mining workers are there okay. mining worker means he don't uh, no much educated person lorry drivers also will be there yes exactly that time he will say okay i want low that mm. excessive failed login i want it to be low Okay. Up to okay. this event severity level, security architect will define. Okay. The remaining thing Splunk will define. How okay. is? Okay. Whenever we want to work, you know, uh, suppose excessive field like here, yeah, you just click on it. You can mm. see this is the IP address. No, okay. this IP address we call as the asset, and you can see there is the one score is there. No, the risk score. Okay. Will okay. given by this Splunk. How Splunk will give the risk score is first time this IP address comes, then it will be risk score is five points. It will give okay. again. It come again five points. Again five points like that. It will increase the risk score. How many times it trigger? Okay. Right now the risk score is increased. So based on it, as per the asset and identity priority, like risk score will go. uh suppose uh, right now uh, uh it is at uh, uh no low right maybe uh, the risk score increased up to the medium and uh, event severity is low so there the low urgency level was added to this particular notable like that uh, splunk will identify the you no know, event severe, you know, the urgency of the notable using the security architect how to define and also sp- plunk risk score also will define the uh, the urgency of the notable so here suppose you know i want to you know work on this uh, you know this notable i want to work you know the low notable i just want to work i can see this is assigned right unassigned so uh, what i will do is i will click on this edit selected i will say investigation in progress owner assign it to me and select it is a in progress so by stating this my other no in a, in my same shift any other person also present so he will get to know like yeah someone is already presenting so we should not waste our time on that so my duplicacy of work we can reduce you know if by stating the no just alias name i have kept for this yeah so this in progress i have kept means other person won't take this one he will take some other notable and he will work once you open this notable you now uh, expanding this you can find out the description of it and you know uh, you can found out the different values in the 
uh, additional fields like a related investigation the what is the correlation search from where the history i am investigating this and i can write the history for that also um, and for example there is a multiple uh, uh no adaptive response fields also present will be there adaptive response means uh, you can see here i am clicking on this particular action uh, and see now you can search this uh, source instead of writing additional data we will add the links to our uh, for our uh, as a es administrator i have to write all these things suppose i want to ping this host whether it is up or not so by clicking on it it will open a new folder and it will show me whether it is a ping the host is a pingable or not and uh, now it is pinging that particular host and it will give me a result in a splunk itself if i go to open the command prompt i will ping it will take time so as an analyst he have to take you uh, know immediate action he, he can see now um, by pinging it uh received zero packet 100% lost time so uh, now he can um, find it out that this if it is a server it should be up if it is down maybe it is a laptop or a desktop now again he come back okay now he have one answer that it might be laptop then he will go to the asset investigator like there is asset center will be there asset investigator by using the asset investigator he will find out what kind of asset is this or he will go to endpoint sources and he will found who is working on this particular asset like that you know there are multiple options now we, we can use for this security analyst purpose this is a, not a simple thing you know uh, um, um, as a security analyst we have to go each and every corner we have to suspect each and every area and we will uh, figure it out like what is it suppose if we found yeah this is a false positive that time i can click on that event i will say edit selected here the status i can you know i can keep like in progress pending or resolved so i will say it's resolved i'll say it's a false positives or uh, and i have to give my proper description like uh, so and so i have find out that uh, this is a laptop uh, no and uh, user um, um, we contacted the user and uh, he recently changed the password uh, and the particular so and so app the app is some internal uh, chrome browser he has saved the uh, passwords and uh, uh those passwords we asked us to reset his chrome to get the new passwords and the problem is resolved like that i have to tell and i have to assign on myself the urgency will be same like we will change this uh, we won't change the urgency like that a proper investigation he have to close and he have to save it the next uh, person will come whoever the come and uh, he will check like what is the status of it suppose this is resolved so he no need to work on it he will work on the unassigned man or a new notable whatever it is there he will work on it as per the uh, yes earlier so yeah by this uh, no the today's session is end